and I'm just like myself, like duh. And if we're drinking mimosas, just hold the orange juice, okay? Um, sometimes I like going on dates by myself as opposed to dates with other people. We may overthink the solo dating, but don't. Just really enjoy the moment and really feel the energy and the presence that's there. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Taylor, and welcome to Taylor Winbush TV. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Taylor, and today we're going to be talking about a couple of reasons on why you should solo date. <laughs> solo dating is actually so much fun. I personally enjoy it um sometimes i like going on dates by myself as opposed to dates with other people that's how much i enjoy solo dating um and there's just this whole stigma about like going on a date by yourself i think it's a little bit kind of not as bad now but like i know back in the day it's like why are you going out by yourself or who you're gonna go with and I'm just like myself like duh but we're going to be talking about the benefits of solo dating and we're also going to talk about like a couple of ideas on how you can or where you can go for your first solo date. So let's get into the video. As you know, I have my notes, so we're going to go ahead and jump right in. So why should you actually take yourself on a solo date? So the first one is you actually need to understand who you are first before you indulge in a friendship or a relationship. And I feel like this is so, or, or a romantic relationship, this is so important. A lot of times we get into relationships and we don't really know who we are. And I think that's how we end up in the wrong relationships and that's how we stay in relationships for too long. Um, and what if that, whether that be romantic or a friendship, same rule applies. Like you have to actually know who you are and what you wanna do before you can take on another human being. That's just my opinion. And I'm sticking to that. So the other one is when you go on a solo date, you treat yourself how you wanna be treated. And I feel like this is a really big part of like manifestation on how you wanna be treated and how you wanna be courted. Um, when people treat you based on how they perceive that you treat yourself. So the way that you uphold yourself is how people are going to treat you. Um, so if you are wondering why people are treating you such a way, just kind of like reflect and say like, okay, like maybe they're treating me this way because I do this, that, and in the third. So really take the time when you're solo dating to treat yourself how you want to be treated. Like if you want to go to nights or restaurants, start going to those places um, by yourself. If you can't afford it, go there, get a drink, call it a day. You don't have to get anything like too pricey, but really just place yourself in the idea of, okay, like if I was on a date, I would want this person to do this for me. So I'm going to go ahead and do it to myself or do it for myself. The other one is you are moving without anyone questioning you. This is my ultimate favorite one. You're doing what you want to do when you want to do it, how you want to do it without anyone talking about, asking you, questioning you about what you're doing. I absolutely love moving to my own, to the beat of my own drum without anyone trying to check me. Hello? I mean, like, who wouldn't want to? I feel like this is a really big part of um, growing up and being mature you want to be able to move how you want to move without like it just it just a, it's a whole different mood and a whole different feeling and before you even tackle a relationship or even try to indulge in one I think it's really important to understand with the feeling of how you like to move by yourself the other one is um solo dating helps build confidence and independence so um, you it could be really uncomfortable when you're solo dating at first um but I do feel like when you get into the swing of it you'll build your confidence and you also build a little bit more independence um another one of the points we could talk about later but is you don't really rely on other people um you're just only responsible for yourself so that showcases independence and then in that process you'll become more confident when you do that the other one is it's a great way to reflect and plan out your future. So I mentioned before that I think I don't know if it was this take or not, but regardless, when you're out and you're solo dating, like the stuff that you think about is completely different. Um, I for me, I can only speak for myself. For me, when I'm out solo dating by myself, it my mindset is just. I don't know it's just a whole vibe like I can't really explain it but I just know that the stuff that, that I think about I feel like I I feel a lot more limitless um when I'm out solo dating in regards to like what I'm reflecting on and what I want to like who I want to become and the woman that I would like to be in the future and how I'm going to actually step into that and what those what that actually looks like and what it feels like I feel like when you are taking time to reflect you also have to channel in what that emotion feels like before you actually can step into it um and then that just goes into like manifestation maybe i can make a video on that but 
you definitely want to be able to kind of like ease into your future because you've already visualized it you already felt it you know what it's going to be like so it's easier for you to kind of step into that when you already have the feeling i hope that makes sense so the other one is so like falling in love with yourself can also benefit you but it will also benefit other people and i have a couple of tips on why it benefits yourself and other people um, around you so when you do solo date you become more self-aware and this is really important when you're encountering other people uh, because you need to understand where you are and how you feel in that moment and if you need to change or adjust something you could do it right then and there as opposed to reflecting on it later and it might be too late to make an adjustment the other one is you will build grace and patience when you are solo dating so this is important because you, when you have more grace for yourself, um, when you have more patience for yourself, then it's easier for you to implement those characteristics and um, have grace and patience for other people. So that's one of the one of the big benefits of solo dating. Another one is you have less self doubt, more confidence, which we already kind of touched on this, but just kind of re reiterate that again. The other one is you will respect yourself a lot more. So this one's really cool because when I say respect yourself a lot more you just carry yourself you can kind of like navigate and you can make you can literally make the life that you want based on how you treat yourself in a solo date and I know it's very far-fetched to say this but it really is like respect comes into are you going to be on time for your solo date are you going to respect yourself in regards to like what makes you feel the best like how are you going to treat yourself when you're going down the path of the solo dating um and i think that you you do gain self-respect in a sense because you're doing what makes you feel the best and i feel like that's very respectful of you to do that with all due respect the other one is you will honor your personal commitments more so this is really important and this also goes into having like being a little bit more feminine and having a grown woman mentality is that you always honor what you say you're going to do and um specifically personal commitments so if you say you're going to be there if you have a reservation at 7 30 for one you need to get there at 7 30 and treating it like you're actually getting ready it's so easy for us to um, fulfill obligations when we're talking to other people but very rarely do we fulfill obligations when it comes to ourselves so this is a really key point on how to actually practice those things and the more comfortable you get with following through your personal obligations the easier it is for you to get ahead in life because you're less likely to get distracted or sidetracked um, when it comes to your personal commitments and the other one is you do not rely on other people. You're really only dependent upon yourself. And I find this to be phenomenal because it's really important, specifically when you're trying to figure out who you are, to be dependent upon yourself and really rely on yourself. Sometimes some people have had the privilege of um, learning that at a very early age and some people have not. So just being able to kind of reiterate that. And I think, too, sometimes when you when you are relying on yourself at our early age there may there may be a lot more pressure um because maybe it's because you have like other family obligations that you have to attend to but i think relying on yourself solely just for you is completely different and it's a really good thing to do when you're solo dating or one of the really cool benefits of solo dating rather so let's get into the actual date ideas so Number one, which is my personal favorite, is brunch or dinner at a bar or a table, y'all. <laughs> Just give me either some wine or some champagne. And if we're drinking mimosas, just hold the orange juice, okay? Like, I absolutely love going to brunch because that's my favorite meal. Ting. So I love brunch and I also love going on dinner dates by myself. I like going to like a nice upscale restaurant. Um, for me personally, when it comes to picking a restaurant, it depends on the ambiance. So if it's giving me what I need to feel in that moment, then I'm going to be there. <laughs> Period. Um, and some like majority of the times, like my drink is always bought for me. So like I never have to worry about that. But when it's not, I don't mind paying because I'm doing it for myself so the other one is you can go to the movies you can go to a museum you can go to a spa day which is also one of my other favorites my personal favorite place to go for a spa day is actually the four seasons sounds super expensive but it's well worth it um they give you free champagne 
I don't know. I guess it's technically not free because you're paying for it with a service, but it does come with your spa service. I usually only go get a facial. So that's something that I really love at the Four Seasons. Um, and then another one is you can do like an outdoor activity or a picnic, get you a glass of wine, get a book, get something fun to do. Maybe you want to work on some things or just reflect. Picnic is really great. Um, I would really suggest to be there when people are there. Don't do anything like outlandish um, and go there when there's not a lot of people. If I am doing a picnic, I try to go on Saturday up in the day when I know there's a lot of people around. Um, safety is first and it's unfortunate that we have to have this conversation, but it, it's it's happening. Um, and then the last one is the coffee date. So take yourself on a coffee date. Um, just really be in the moment, live in the moment and just enjoy it. And I think a lot of... there's a, I think a lot of times um, we may overthink the soul dating, but don't just really enjoy the moment and really feel the energy and the presence that's there. Feel who you are and enjoy your own energy and adjust your energy if needed. Um, and also talk to God too. Like just really have those deep conversations that you may never had time to and just really just take the time to soak everything in and enjoy the moment. And I feel like that's what solo dating is about is enjoying the moment and really reflecting and being aware of who you are and how you feel and really tapping into your emotions. So that wraps up our episode on solo dating. If you guys like this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any other solo dating ideas, be sure to put them in the, in the comment section below. And until next time, peace. Yeah.